This video will cover the topic solving a word problem using a quadratic equation with rational roots. When we're faced with a word problem, our first step is to understand the problem and create variables that represent the unknown values. Next, we use the information given in the problem to create meaningful equations relating our variables. From there, we can use those equations to find what the question is asking for. Let's break that down. Consider the following word problem. The length of a rectangle is 5 feet more than double the width, and the area of the rectangle is 63 feet squared. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. Our first step is to understand the problem. What is the problem about? This problem is describing a rectangle, and we have to find the dimensions of the rectangle from the given information. Right. So what are the unknown values? The unknown values in this word problem are the length and width of the rectangle. Exactly. Let's use the variables L and W to represent the length and width. Now we should use the information in the problem to create meaningful equations that relate these variables to each other. The first line in our problem tells us that the length is 5 feet more than double the width. Using this information, we can create the equation L, the length, is equals 5 more than, which means something plus 5, it's 5 more than something, and that something is double the width. Double the width is 2 times W, the width. Now we have this equation, L equals 2W plus 5. The second part of that sentence tells us that the area of the rectangle is 63 feet squared. How does this information help us? Well, do you remember the formula for the area of a rectangle? Area is equal to length times width. Right. Some people say area equals base times height. Some people say length times width. But it all means the same thing. Oh. So we can plug in 63 for the area and L and W for the length and width? That's exactly right. So now we have the equation 63 equals L times W, in addition to our other equation L equals 2W plus 5. Now we have two equations with two unknown variables. This is enough information to find our solution. Let's see if we can create just one equation with one variable to find one of our values. The first equation says that L has the same value as 2 times W plus 5. So can we replace the L in the second equation with 2W plus 5? We certainly can. That's a great idea. Now we have a new equation that looks something like this. 63 equals 2W plus 5, which is L, times W. If we distribute this W, then we see that 63 equals 2W squared plus 5W. This equation here is almost a quadratic equation. We do have our squared variable and the variable raised to the first power. If we want to make it look like a regular quadratic equation, then we just need to set it equal to zero. We can do this by subtracting 63 from both sides. Now we have the quadratic equation 2w squared plus 5w minus 63, and it's set equal to zero, so we can find the values of w that satisfy this equation by using the quadratic formula. In case you don't remember that, it's w equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is the coefficient of our squared term, in this case 2, b is the coefficient of our term raised to the first power, which is 5 here, and c is this last term with no variable. If we replace all these values in this equation with the proper numbers, then we see that in order for this quadratic equation to be true, w must equal negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 63, don't forget this minus here, over 2 times 2, which, if we simplify this, is the same as w equals 4.5 or negative 7. You get two different answers because you have to do it once with plus here and once with a minus here. And the reason there's two solutions to this is because it's quadratic, meaning it's a parabola, so it can cross the x-axis two times. 
How can there be two different values for the width? Shouldn't there only be one? You're right. Both of these numbers are solutions to this. However, our question is asking about the width of a rectangle. And we can't really have a negative width for our rectangle. So negative 7 is not the solution in the context of our problem. Therefore, we know that w equals 4.5. Now we just need to find the length. Well, our other equation says that L is equal to 2w plus 5. Can we use that to find L? Yep. If we replace this w with 4.5, we see that the length equals 2 times 4.5 plus 5, which simplifies to 14. We can check if these numbers are correct by plugging them into both of our original equations. And if we do that, they both will be true, so we know that our answer is correct. So, when we're faced with a word problem, our first step is to understand the problem and create variables that represent the unknown values. Next, we use the information given in the problem to create meaningful equations relating to our variables. From there, we can use those equations to find what the question is asking for. Exactly right. Nice job.